Hey guys, Peter, not your average guy. I am in Cyprus. And after our successful mission that you have been able to see in the previous videos, we still have another day before we leave. I dropped Martin at the beach. He is flat right now. I am incredibly tired because We've been up early, flying, doing stuff, going everywhere. We did the meeting. After the meeting, we had dinner with these very nice people. So I'm uh, very tired. But anyway, since I'm here, I'm like, what am I going to do next? And there's a couple of things, but this is, this is one of them. Because there's another abandoned village just like Farosha and I drove by it on the previous visit and I stopped by the road and I filmed it and I showed you the church along this road I, I see this church I'll show you and it seems like this is abandoned I, I, I think there is no roof on it do you see that so I think all these houses are also abandoned and it's very close to the to the road so I'm like uh, if I can fly over Russia why won't I fly over this village too so I looked on the map and I found a reservoir and you can see that over here so I thought maybe I can find a good spot along the reservoir it's like two, three kilometers away, this village, and uh, fly from here. So I've been driving around a little bit, and I found this cabin. <laughs> Look, it's just, uh, it's, it's next, next to the road. And, um, but, but the main road, nobody can see me. Maybe they can see my car, but you cannot be spotted here. And this is just freely accessible. Of course, this cabin is closed. I won't go in there, but it's a it's a really nice spot, and it, and there's already a chair, and you have an excellent view over this uh, reservoir, which is uh, I think the reservoir and the surrounding by itself is uh, worthy of some drone filming, but. What we will do right now is zoom in. I will zoom in, zoom along this side, all right? And there's a farm, and there's a farm, there's antennas and wires and stuff. And here you can see the tower of the church of that village. So it means I can just sit here and fly from here. And since it's not that far, uh, I don't need to do um, a Litchi mission. I can just fly over there and control it from here. I guess, I think. So that's, that's what I will try. And I can just use uh, whip antennas for this. I can sit here if the signal gets bad and this metal around here uh, influences my signal then I might walk up here like this and uh, still still have a, a good view I might even walk up there so I think I think uh, that should be possible the road along that village is English property, but just the road. It's a very, very small uh, piece of land where the road is on, and it's it's like connecting one English area with the other English area. This part is Greek. On the other side of the road, it's a Turkish-occupied area. 
I think it's the same story. It's like it will be extremely difficult to spot the drone. If they spot it, they will have no idea where it came from. The chances that something will happen is very low. And again, I'm flying from the Greek side. And I don't think the Greek have a lot of objections against me filming their occupied houses and village as you may understand from the previous videos so i'm gonna do it nobody instructed me to do this this is my project i am doing this but it is like a gift from me to the greek cypriotic people I go fly It, it wants me to um, calibrate the sensors, but the sensors are not so big issue here, so I'm just gonna leave that. I do wanna see, it is at 2.4. We don't want to be in sports mode. Record the drone and we are ready to go. Already. So, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. Let's just fly around a little bit, all right? Just along this reservoir. and enjoy uh, this place. You see? Oh, there's a large plateau there. See that? But it's very open. Now I, I even got two messages of high wind velocity. The Chinese are very worried about the wind. Very nice. So I you hear this occasional boom. So we turn around here to capture the extent of this lake. I think they are shooting somewhere, I don't know what it is, hunting or it's a machine, I, I don't know, but I'm not worried about it. So nice, nice like this. Okay. Um, the horizon is a little bit off. I have to say that the horizon was very good for a long period and lately it's a, a little bit worse I have to correct it now and then this is too much I think this is pretty good with the uh, Phantom 4 I had a lot of issues, It was the horizon was always wrong. I, I had to do it every flight, correcting it. And uh, you see when I make a turn like this, the horizon tilts. And that also might be due to the wind. 
There's a very red thing out there. What is that? It's also like a shed. You, you can see I'm not that far from the road. I'm flying straight to my shed with a red roof and there's more of them out here. And there's a water reservoir on the left. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up. And let's see what's out there. More. Wow, beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, this lake and these, these arms. So, I think I have to fly there. signal is excellent. I can see my screen very well. I think past this road is Turkey's occupied area. And there are no drone laws in Turkey's occupied area. So I will fly a little bit higher for my own safety. So here it is, an abandoned village, another one. There's a church to the left, so let's fly closer there. I'm going to fly in sports mode now. I want to fly quicker. It starts to complain about the battery. Okay, that's no problem. Then we will fly like this. And back. Ooh, there's a bug biting me. So 
so I had to let go of the control. How is the remaining battery only enough for a return home? It's just ridiculous. I'm gonna fly a little bit higher. I can see and hear that there is no airplane so I can just safely do this and let's fly back along the ah th these bugs are biting me Gee. I don't know what this return to home system is thinking but I got more than enough oh they're biting me constantly uh. okay get rid of the warnings there was a uh, flying a helicopter before uh, I started this flight I gotta go more to the left like this so and I could easily see it I can easily spot it from here so there is no danger to anybody's life in what I'm doing here I know it is against some rules like in America you cannot do this uh, let me see I'm, I'm getting out of line where where is it I th yeah over here okay 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 okay, okay. yeah all right so and i absolutely do not recommend that you copy my behavior there is there is risks you can get a fine you can get caught you can get your drone confiscated confiscated and all that kind of stuff right but um i have a reason to do this put it out of sports mode because successful flight but the thing is I know what I'm doing I know the risks involved I know why I do this do not do this at home just like that because you may get into trouble this is another historical flight for the country of cyprus because it has never done before that this abandoned occupied village has been filmed like this so they can put it in their arch in their archives if you like my videos give it a thumbs up and see you on the next adventure and as you may guess the donkeys agree with me i got an applause i got a public that says we like what you're doing you heard them so if you also like the video and like what i'm doing give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and wait for my next adventures thank you so much